Let's get physical, it's Jordan here back again with this week's update on all the physical releases coming to the Switch. We're in the first-ish week of July, kind of, June 29th until July 3rd. Retail, low print, imports, plus our community spotlight where you show off your pickups and potentially win a physical Switch game. Let's get on with it. The wonderful 101 is finally seeing its full Western release this week, having already been released in Japan. This Switch port was kickstarted to much success, and the US is getting Platinum Games Hidden Gem this week on the 30th, and Europe on July 3rd. This is a well-loved action game based on superheroes, as you control hordes of them, gather together, and transform them into powerful tools. This is a unique game with a lot of depth if you have time to learn it, and it's a big title on the Switch this week. Kickstarter backers, do you have your copies yet? Ganicus has chosen Wonderful 101 as his pick of the week. The Legend of Heroes Trials of Cold Steel 3 is finally coming to the West this week, a very popular JRPG in the Legend of Heroes series. I say very popular, but I mean within its audience. Many JRPG fans will tout these games as some of the best modern examples of the genre. Personally, I've never played any of them due to being a Nintendo Switch guy, but it is nice to see them finally coming to the console. Although I think we probably could have done with the first two games, you know, to kind of like catch up with the story, which unlike Final Fantasy, they are linked. It is worth noting that there is no standard edition of this game as far as I can tell. It only comes with a nice collector's edition at retail. And Trials of Cold Steel is God of Resins and Dane Wilkinson's pick of the week. 30 in 1 Game Collection Volume 1 seems a bit of a chivalry title. This is exactly what it says on the tin. 30 games, with 18 of them available to be played for up to 4 players. It has a mix of puzzle, action, sports, strategy and others. It looks like a European only release, but not sure on that. Not that it would be a big loss. Bit of an uncertainty, mainly due to the fact that the game seems to have been listed since time began, but hopefully Big Pharma may be seeing its physical release this week in a nice collector's box called the Manager Edition. This includes some DLC also. Uh, it's a management sim as you become the head of a pharmaceutical company and it even includes puzzle-like elements. Shmup Collection, oh baby, is scheduled to be released this week thanks to an effort by Pixel Heart, Just For Games and VGNY in North America. Now it is worth making this an uncertainty. In Europe they've updated their website to say June 30th, while VGNY in North America has labelled it for July, so there is a bit of a discrepancy there. Anyways, more about the game, these are three excellent shooters from Astro Port. I reviewed them for the channel and I highly recommend them to fans of the genre. You get Wolf Flame, Armed 7 and Cetasius, all nicely varied and a lot of fun. For those hardcore collectors out there, it seems like there are three cover variants, the European one, the North American one at VGNY and also the Japanese cover which can actually be bought from Pixel Hearts website. Anyone picking this collection up? I think if you got the Psycho collections, then you need and you know you should probably pick this one up too. If it doesn't release this week, then I'll be sure to mention them when they do. Alright, let's jump into the low print releases. Oh man, a lot of catching up to do. As per is the case, around one hour before last week's video went live, we had a few more announcements. Let's start with the one that's already open for pre-order, Space Invaders Invincible Collection, getting a Western release this week thanks to Strictly Limited Games. All 11 games are available on the Standard Edition, which is unlike the Japanese release, which you had to you know, buy a higher priced version for everything. Plus it includes a game that was only ever DLC in Japan. This is looking pretty good. It was always going to happen at some point, as I stated a few times when talking about the Japanese release. Taito loved to pawn off their releases to low print companies in the West. There are three editions. Uh, why do they have to make it so complicated? The standard edition is a whopping $60, which is twice the price of what they usually ask for. Then there's a collector's edition, which includes a soundtrack, arcade books, sticker sheets, instruction cards, flyers, pins, four acrylic art cards, and an arcade box. That's a meaty 100 euros. Plus there's an ultra super expensive collector's edition, which includes the board game for 150 euros. One thing that does annoy me with Strictly Limited's Western releases, would it kill them to do like some different box art? Anyways, you can order this right now. And Space Invaders is Brent McLean's and Jonathan Rumor's pick of the week. On June 30th, we have a nice bit of trash for you via Limited Run Games. I could rant all day about how terrible Senran Kagura Reflections is, but I will spare you the lecture. 
On June 30th, you can pre-order this game via Limited Run's distribution line. This is a visual novel stroke massage simulator, which failed in both story and gameplay. In this release, all of the cash grabby DLC is on the cartridge, so now you can get all the trash in one package. It is awful, and this is coming from a fan of both Booby Games and Senran Kagura in general. If you enjoy embarrassing dialogue coupled with gameplay that boils down to using your Joy-Con as a lever, this should be right up your alley. Jay and Silent Bob Mall Brawl was made available to pre-order on the 26th. Yes, it was another last minute announcement. Anyways, this is a retro style game actually made for the NES hardware. And in fact, you can buy a cartridge of that. But if you fancy on the Switch, then that's also possible too through Limited Run's pre-order. There is a standard edition as well as a collector's edition. Limited Run's version of Samurai Showdown Neo Geo Collection is an interesting one. If you remember, Pix and Love Publishing have an amazing looking collector's edition with a proper Neo Geo box almost, plus they have a standard edition. Limited Run are currently only offering a collector's edition of this one. You get an art book, soundtrack CD, and mini Neo Geo cartridge case. Uh, it's cheaper than Pix and Loves and is open for pre-order rather than being limited. Sadly, if you just want the game, you'll have to play the waiting game. Uh, as they stated, they're in talks with the standard release, but nothing is confirmed. You can pre-order now, or you can pre-order the standard version from Pix and Love Publishing in Europe if you want to. All right, let's jump into the imports this week. Just remember that if any of the games take your fancy and you'd like to import them for yourself, import links below in the description and the pinned comment. It helps support this little series of ours and Switch Watch as a whole, and we very much appreciate it if you use our links. Plus, in return, you can use our coupon code SWITCHWATCHTV when checking out Switch Watch TV, and you can get 5% off your order. Alright, for me the interesting one this week, Rolling Sky Collection is going to be an interesting physical import, a debut physical release from Leo Full. This is a double pack of two simple runner games that mix both chilled and challenging platforming with absolutely fantastic music. The two games are visually very different from each other but play pretty much the same. Now, these games are not going to set the world alight but for what they try to achieve, they do so well. Especially when you zone into the game with your headphones on, it really sucks you in despite the simplicity of it all. And this is going to be a super obscure import for collectors and you know I can't help myself with that. This has English on the cartridge and is not getting a western physical release anytime soon according to the publisher. Woof! Meow! Animal Hospital, an important job to help pets, is a fantastic name of a game, a simulation game set in an animal hospital. This is basically trauma center for pets, right? Uh, with 20 mini games, you examine and fix up little animals back to health. No English on this one, sadly. Catherine Full Body Edition is releasing in Japan this week. I'll talk more about it next week when it has its Western release. Uh, the Japanese version does not have English due to differences between the Western and Japanese games. Uh, but yeah, talk more about it next week. All right, let's jump into the Let's Get Physical Community Spotlight where you show off your pickups. If you're featured, then at the end of the month, you'll be in the draw to win a physical Nintendo Switch game. Last week, we gave away Golf Story and Cat Quest, the Japanese variants from B-Side Games. Absolutely stunning. And the winner was Visipon, who already had them arrive. I think she was very pleased with it. Now, this month, I don't actually know what the prize is going to be yet. Um, it certainly won't be as cool or as expensive as last month. Otherwise, we'd be losing a lot of money at that stage but anyways i'll have a think about it let's take a look at this week now firstly me now due to a backlog of pickups i actually got these in a few weeks ago uh these are the japanese physicals of gold story and cat quest now i know what you're thinking you just gave them away last week well not quite the ones we gave away are the special versions only available from b-side games website those get a beautiful sleeve cover art along with some extra goodies these, on the other hand, can be found at general retail in Japan and don't include any of the extra goodies or the beautiful sleeve. Uh, that disappointed me. I bought them from a website here in China and I was hoping uh, it was the kind that we gave away, but sadly not. It's just a standard edition. Uh, fine enough for Golf Story, since I wanted it no matter what, but Cat Quest was only special due to the sleeve and goodies for me. Uh, so yeah, I took a risk and it backfired a little. Never mind though, both are great games and I'm happy to have them, even if 
if I paid more for Cat Quest than I could have if I bought the European version. Uh, Alright, on to you, Joe, you sent in this photo with two games, a pretty recent pickup of Burnout Paradise. How's that holding up for you guys? We did a gameplay video of this sponsored by EA with, you know, the fee going to charity and as a giveaway to the community, so check that video out. Craig Morgan also picked up the same game. The artwork is surprisingly awesome for this. Usually, racing games are the hardest to make cool artwork for, but they nailed it with Paradise. Matthew Hutton made his SD card have a panic attack with these three purchases. That is a lot of download required in order to have a dandy time, even if all of them are great games. Joshua Champagne sent in this photo, one of the many lucky enough to get their hands on the glorious collector's edition of Xenoblade 1. I am so jealous. Speaking of jealousy, or perhaps, you know, pure hatred, Retro Boy did not endear himself to me with his debut entry, the collector's edition of Gun Lord X. Honestly, missing out on this kind of ruined my day or week. Uh, it looks absolutely phenomenal, uh, you know, as a collector's piece. Um, there are still some standard copies left on their website, I believe, you know, at the time of writing this. But I can't even stomach the thought of accepting less than the collector's edition. Pokey Mathers sent in a copy of Civilization VI on the Switch. Uh, if there's any time when you need one game to last a lifetime, this is a good choice. Addictive, long-lasting, and has so much replayability as you either nuke or negotiate yourself to world domination. Our Switch Watch legend, Ganicus got in a backer reward for Wonderful 101 with this lenticular print. Lovely. Fluttershout picked up a few games, including the brand new SpongeBob SquarePants remake. I God, I hate that guy. Uh, are you all enjoying this one? In our review, Jason thought it was good for fans of the series, but lacked the polish and precision of a classic 3D platformer. They also got in the wonderful, fantastic Wonder Boy remake. Pretty with horns got in something that I've been waiting for a while: the Siberia trilogy. All three games on one cartridge. It's something I want to land eventually. Our executive producer, God of Resin, showed off these pickups including the much sought after Ring Fitch Adventure, as well as Hotline Miami Collection from Special Reserve. Mad Box sent in a few pictures including some lesser talked about gems including the fantastic Pato Box, one of my favourite indies on the Switch, plus a couple of cultured games to boot. Everyone's favourite action hero Kurt Cannongrave sent in this photo of a couple of great imports, Okami and Dragon's Dogma. Just in case you were wondering, Europe and Australia never got a physical of Dragon's Dogma, so it's an import from Japan or North America. Neverbirth sent in a couple of pictures including the Chunky Boy Chonka, La Mulana 1 or 2, plus Indivisible, a brand new game from last week. Uh, this is obviously the European release of, yeah, it's a great game. Apparently the US version should be out soon enough if it isn't already. Bunny Voidstrom sent in a couple of pictures with some obscure titles with particular interest in the top middle one which is the Indiegogo backer physical of Indivisible which is stunning, I'm sure you'll agree. They also let us have a peek inside. Bruno Silva got an absolute bargain. I mean, how can you say no to Damon X Machina for a thousand euros? Oh, I, is that supposed to be ten euros? Ten euros, which is marginally better than a thousand, I think. Chris from Cali got his Atelier on, uh, plus Remilo, whose artwork pretty much could pass off as an Atelier game, right? I, I had to give that a second look to make sure. Captain Slow got in a couple of games, including one that's been talked about recently in our Discord, Daedalus, which is an import exclusive and something I had no idea about. But the Asian version, which we see here, has English on the cartridge. I missed this one from my mega imports list. Sadly, the Japanese version does not have English, so you'll have to track down the elusive Asian release if you want English on the cartridge. Carl Goody sent in this picture of releases that we don't see much of, uh, the strange code in a box releases. I know people look down on these, but I swear it's going to be the hardcore collectors in the future. They're going to regret passing up on these because I'm sure they'll be a nightmare to find in the future. Not that I'm saying you should buy them though. Park Ranger got in his purchase from Super Rare Games, Graceful Explosion Machine. Uh, we unboxed this one for you last week, check that out. Lord Vapor got in a Turbo Graphics, although I'm not sure if that's the legit one or is it the mini machine that recently released? I, I don't know, it's so small to begin with. He also got in his order of the Darius like myself. Mr. Valgard got in a fantastic Dragon Quest trilogy, love the fact that this import exists. We know it's one of the more popular imports out there and for good reason. Great series, great history lesson, triple pack on a cartridge in English, yes please. Joel Parker got in a brand new release, Journey to the Savage Planet. I mentioned this one last week and it looks very cool. I love the worn out retro cover style that they've gone for on this one. The fraying on the edges, it just adds a little bit of a touch that I like. 
Juan, yes, our very own Juan, got in his delivery from Special Reserve Games Hotline Miami Collection. It seems that these are just turning up in Europe now. One of our regular contributors, Alex, sent in this pickup from a game store that was closing down. A nice little retro title. I had a lot of fun with this one in my review. James Bowen sent in these pickups, including the nice signature edition of Spirit of the North and Limited Run's Big Box of Stranger Things 3. Also, Caladrius Blaze, an import shooter that I talked about not too long ago. He got his with the metal sleeve. Nice. Zelafiel, sorry I don't know how to say your name properly, new to our Discord, showed off this nice collection of games, including that fantastic Deadly Premonitions Collector's Edition. The second game is on the horizon very soon, and we're hoping to do a review of it for you, so stay tuned for that. Chris Hepburn did what he does best with a nice unboxing of the not-so-little Little Town Hero Big Idea Edition from NIS America. Personally, I already have my little standard Japanese physical, but this one has some nice goodies, including a physical soundtrack and a very nice art book. Thank you, Chris. Jonathan sent in a grand picture of his pickups this past week, including some proper obscure imports such as Obakedoro, which is a Japanese exclusive which does have English. It's very peculiar, as it's a very cute game of cops and robbers. Not something I would have ever thought would get to physical, but there you go. I'm kind of wanting it myself. Alright, thanks ladies and gents, it's always fantastic to see what you've got. Please send me your pictures over on Twitter at so what about game. Please DM me so I can keep track of it, or you can email in to us at contactus at switchwatch.co.uk. Just make sure you start the email title with Community Spotlight so I don't miss it again. Plus, we have a Discord, which we'd like you to join as we can talk with you. Plus, you can send your pictures in there in the submissions section. The Discord server link is below. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of New Physical. Special thanks to our executive producers, Dane Wilkinson, God of Resin, Jonathan Rumo, Ganakas, and all the others who have joined our memberships. Plus, you guys who are watching right now and have stayed until the very end. We love you. Really appreciate you, honestly, very, very much. Thank you for watching this far and listening to me ramble. Anyways, check out last week's episode in case you missed it. Plus, a ton of our other stuff. We'll see you guys over there. Take care.